Oh my gosh. Hello, booze. So I haven't done a very extra shopping spree in quite some time and with the Bridgerton collection launching in Bath and Body Works I was super inspired to go on my very own Bridgerton inspired shopping spree for spring. Look at this extra bonnet. <laughs> Let me tell you I would have never bought this extra bonnet if I was not going on a very Bridgerton inspired shopping spree. I love her. She's gonna look so cute in my very cottagecore home and so is this pillow. As you guys can see this is like the first item I'm showing. I guess I'm getting right into it. Not only is this an online shopping spree but stay tuned to go with me to the antique shop where I buy literal Bridgerton antiques. I'm not just gonna be sitting here for the haul. I'm literally gonna take my camera around and show you some of the things I got because they're already staged and just so cute. But yeah the first thing I'm gonna show you guys other than than this beautiful Amazon bonnet, which I'll be linking down below if you guys are interested, is this pillow, this bow pillow. So I saw this pillow on an Instagram reel. A friend and I were like sending each other reels of like these bow pillows. And then ironically, I wasn't even going out of my way to look for this. I was just looking on Urban Outfitters for dresses and I stumbled upon this beautiful silky bow pillow. Urban Outfitters always does trends really well. And the fact that bows are a trend makes this so much easier for me to go shopping. So I'm gonna be keeping her in this closet on one of my bow chairs. Like how adorable is she? I have these bows on the blue chairs and then there's like a pink silky bow it's honestly so silky like so soft if you guys are doing like a bow themed bedroom i think she's perfect for you as you guys saw i have a new phone case this is a pink swarovski swan and i don't know i just feel like it gives like swan lake vibes because like pink very like ballet core i was using the cake wildflower phone case but i've been using that for like a year so it was time to just you know get a new phone case next item in this haul is an antique and i got this at a barn sale like look so bridgerton with like a crown and everything literally lady whistleton silhouette i love the lady whistleton silhouette it's just so cute i love cameos so Actually, speaking of antiques. Just popping in here and interrupting this vlog to invite you to my live stream, April 14th on Whatnot. Whatnot is a live streaming platform where sellers get to auction and sell their items. If you guys haven't caught up, I have an antique shop online called Hometown Vintage, soon to be an in-person shopping experience. Click the link down below and make sure to bookmark my live show. You probably want to click that link down below as well because you get 10 bucks of spending credit with every referral. This is this cute Marie Antoinette vintage book. Lots of items like this, tchotchkes, table decor, ephemera, vintage greeting cards, vintage postcards all pastel shabby chic and girly aesthetic obviously so you could literally get ten dollars spending credits on my store if you just use the referral code so if you click the link in my description box you could literally earn yourself ten dollars of credit to get what I'm selling so you must go to the link in the top of the description box you got to make an account to lock in the ten dollars and then make sure to download the whatnot app and sign into the account that you just made then search for my username hometown vintage find my upcoming live show bookmark it so that you're notified and yeah I'll see you there the next item I wanna show you guys is this cake slice from Urban Outfitters. It's such good quality and it's just so cute. I just love how unique it is. I think it's fun to put like a pink candlestick here. I actually have an extra one, I accidentally got two. So I'm gonna be selling another one probably on my online antique shop. Like look how cute. I feel like it looks like I always have just like a slice of cake on my vanity. It's like very Marie Antoinette coated. I feel like this haul is very like Marie Antoinette meets Bridgerton. I feel like those styles are just like similar. And then I got my In My Bow Era candle from Urban Outfitters as well. Not only is it a blue bow, you guys know blue is my favorite color, ironically, even though everything's pink in my home, but like, look at this bonnet, I mean, blue. And it reads, Oh, look at you, coquette, strutting through life with your signature style and effortless grace. Your flirty charm and playful elegance infuses every moment with just the right amount of naughtiness. Darling, you are simply delightful. I don't know if I like that description. Ooh, the notes are peach, peony, starfruit, lily, amber, and light musk. And this scent kind of reminds me of like an OG Victoria's Secret scent, like pure seduction or something. So yummy. Then I got these little hair clippies from Urban Outfitters. I just had to get like a blue and a green. No, I am not having a baby, but I just love these two colors together. And additionally, I saw this cute headband that reminded me of a garter, and I just think it would be so cute to like have my hair in curlers and just like pull back my hair for makeup with this. Like I feel like it's a really good get ready with me headband. And I've been filming a lot of those on TikTok as well if you guys wanna go check those out. I just feel like everything goes together so nicely. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little candle haul from Bath and Body Works. So they have this bridal collection and it says dressed in white. I just think that's so cute for my closet because I do always wear like ivory and cream. 
It smells so good. It reminds me of my blue satin sashes candle from Yankee Candle. This is the packaging, just beautiful. So the notes are pear blossom, ivory, gardenia, and satin woods. Honestly, it smells so mature, and if you're thinking about a Mother's Day gift, I feel like this is perfect. It kind of has a cozy, like, mommy smell to it, so you guys know what I mean, like, when you have, like, a mom hug, like, I feel like mom's kind of, like, could smell like this. The smell feels like a hug. It's the best way to describe this. I had to go ahead and get a Bridgerton candle from the collection. It's called Diamond of the Season, and it smells like cucumber melon from, like, OG Bath and Body Works. I'm not seeing any notes, but it reminds me of cucumber melon. It's very nostalgic, and it's just so pretty. Like, look at the bee. I have a bee on my nails. I love bees right now. I love the gold packaging. I feel like it goes nicely with my vanity. And I like the little jars, you know what I mean? So this isn't the Bridgerton collection, but might as well should be because it's the best smelling candle in Bath and Body Works right now. This is Main Street Bakery. I love this because I feel like it's like a pun at Main Street USA and Disney. And I love the pink cupcakes on it. I love pink and yellow together or like pink and cream. I haven't smelled a candle this good in Bath and Body Works since like 2019. So the scents are fresh banana, vanilla wafer, cinnamon sugar. Oh my gosh, that's why it smells like a straight up bakery. So good. I feel like this is a good like year round candle to have, like not just spring or summer, like to have like during fall and Christmas. I feel like it'll go with all the seasons. Then I was able to get a free candle with all my purchases. So I picked out sugared lemon zest. This smells like my lemon pie philosophy body wash that I have in LA. So get that scent on this coast now too. It's like a perfect kitchen candle. And then I just had to get the dressed in white body wash. It just smells so cozy. If you guys love cozy baths, this is perfect for you. And the packaging is so cute too. You see like that tufted engraving. It looks like a tufted headboard. I'm obsessed. So I got new Victorian shoes. When I filmed the Broken Morning music video, I got the cutest Amazon like zip up boots and they got ruined from wearing them so much. So I had to get new Victorian boots from Amazon and I didn't have to get them from Amazon, but I had such good luck last time with Amazon. They lasted so long and through so much. So I had to go back and look at another pair and these might be better than the other ones. Look how cute. I'm gonna call them my Mary Poppins shoes because like they, they do have like that Mary Poppins vibe, but like look at the curve of the heel. Look at like the details on the boot, like the lacing right here. They zip up. I love a good zip up tie up boot because it's very easy. Like look how adorable these are. I'm thinking about redoing my wallpaper in this closet. I think it's time. And with the wallpaper that I'm choosing, I feel like I need these on display. I want it to be like a very French vintage dressing room. So I feel like these would go really nicely if they were just sitting on like this cake tier or just like on a dresser. Speaking of vintage dresses, I needed another like bloomer short for spring and summer because I love to wear like mini dresses, like vintage minis, or like I love to turn night slips into wearable everyday dresses, but I can't because they're sheer. I love wearing a pretty bloomer set like this. There's like a little bow, there's ruffles. These would look super cute with like a vintagey swimsuit. I used to wear my bloomers all the time last summer with swimsuits. So it's like a cute little like kitschy swim cover up for the beach. Then I just got a simple chemise from Amazon because I just love having like simple white nightgowns. I feel like it's lightweight and perfect to sleep in for spring and summer now that it's starting to get warm outside. I also think these are so cute to wear with like a swimsuit. It's like really excited to wear stuff like this. Very lightweight, flowy, and like Victorian. I got Good Girl Blush by Carolina Herrera. I wanted to do an unboxing on TikTok, but... I'm gonna do one here. I've been making a lot of TikToks recently. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here she is. This is not Bridgerton. This is just girly. This is just fancy. Look how girly she is. She's gonna look so cute in my perfume collection. I love very unique perfume bottles. So the top notes are bergamot, bitter almond. The middle notes are peony and yang yang. And the base notes are vanilla and coumarin. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it smells so fancy. You could really smell like the bergamot and vanilla. It smells like a cocktail. Look at the stiletto. It smells just as pretty as it looks. So I did go ahead and buy Bridgerton Antiques and I'm gonna insert some of the shopping footage. I'm gonna insert some of the shopping footage. Okay guys, we are antique shopping for my new Cinderella Marie Antoinette Bridgerton bedroom makeover. And I'm also shopping for Hometown Vintage since this version of Hometown Vintage is pastel shabby chic, also Bridgerton Marie Antoinette themed as well. So my hands are full. Everything's so Bridgerton in this booth. This glass Marie Antoinette is $65 and then there's 40% off of her. She would look so good in the new bedroom. Oh my gosh. And with that like blue wall color, if we do historic blue. 
a Cinderella Marie Antoinette bedroom. That would look so good in the tea room. Oh my gosh, and like a cake stand on here with like sweet treats. Can you imagine a lace tablecloth on it with a flower, a oh flower my arrangement? I want that, let's take this home. I can't believe I never had like a legit Marie Antoinette like glass figurine in my home, but it just makes sense to have her. So I'm really glad that I could find her at one of my favorite antique malls in the Lehigh Valley, which is Wales Antiques. That's the first antique shop that I ever went antique shopping, period, and with Johnny. So it was really cool to find that. That's something I've always wanted to find for one of my homes. On top of it, I wanted this framed vintage for like a year or two. It was definitely overpriced. And I guess, I guess the spender's moving out and everything was discounted. I was able to snag this framed piece of art for a very good price. Inside is an antique camise and accessories, a brooch, buttons, a pen, a bonnet. I feel like it's very appropriate to showcase that in this video. Also in general, I always wanted like a more grand like gold and cream stand to place like my flowers, bosses, and showcase items and videos and for social media and just to go with my very gold themed tea room downstairs. These pieces were just so needed and I'm just like so excited about absolutely everything that I got. I also bought these beautiful dresses from Urban Outfitters. This one is rather sheer. It's from the kimchi collection. I feel like it would look really cute with a bralette underneath and maybe even a slip. I love the asymmetrical skirt. It's very flowy. It looks very vintage, like shabby chic Victorian vibes. And then this robe is not vintage, but it looks it. I just love the little bows. I feel like this would be a very beautiful beach cover up. I feel like both would. It's giving like Victorian beach. I've been loving the kimchi collection on Urban Outfitters for this reason. They just do a really good job at doing like vintage pieces, but yeah. That's these two. I missed doing themed shopping sprees. So if you guys wanna see more themed shopping sprees on this channel, let me know. And just a reminder that my Whatnot live stream is April 14th, this Sunday at 1 p.m. You guys have the chance to buy like really cute things. So with that being said, I'm gonna close this fancy vlog. I'll see you guys next week or on TikTok or on my live stream. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next fancy vlog.